All right, so everybody give yourself a round of applause for a wonderful event. I definitely think we have a lot to be thankful for. Um, I think the spirit was warm, respectful, and it fostered discussion of ideas, um, which is what we're all here for. Um, I think the topics were varied and are growing in diversity every year, and we're really encouraged by what we've seen. So we're thankful to everyone here um, for volunteering their time to be a part of this. Um, as we go back to our communities and think about how do we apply these ideas, uh, I just want to share a story to remind you of why we're all here today. Um, that in December of 2009, um, when Aaron and I came up with the idea, I put one simple blog post on my blog. And from there, it snowballed. And whenever you expose yourself to what Nassim Taleb calls the envelope of serendipity, good things happen when you bring good people together. Um, and so I'm encouraged by all the energy and the passion because I know people are committed to this for the long haul. And where it's going to go, we don't know, but I feel like we're all intertwined, and it's something special, so it's something to be thankful for. It wouldn't be possible to be here, though, without the work of a lot of individuals uh, who really want to make this a great experience for you. And there's tons of volunteers, um, but someone you may not know is my best friend, Brian Jeremiah, and he serves as the president of our nonprofit, and he doesn't have a blog, he's a law student, but he does many things to make sure that this event happens because we have a lot of administrative duties to you know, administer a nonprofit. So I wanted to take a moment to thank him, if we could give him a round of applause, Brian. <laughs> and lastly, I would like to thank my colleagues here, Tess and Catherine, because without them, of course, this nothing would be possible. So I'll hand it over to them, and again, thank you. Hi, I'm Tess McAnulty, and I, I got involved in AHS back in 2011 when I found out about it, and it was sold out, and I was so heartbroken. And then I happened to meet Gavin Impet, who was, he was running the volunteers, and I just said, I want, I'll do whatever it takes. I want to come to AHS. So I, got, I ended up as a video volunteer the first year and got to interview a lot of the speakers. And I just fell in love with AHS. It was like, it was the best event I'd ever been to. Um, so AHS, it, it is a labor of love. Um, it simply could not exist without the energy and enthusiasm of each of you sitting here. Our primary goals are to bring people and ideas together and then to watch the magic happen. So look around. These are the people who make up our ancestral health community. And we thank all of you for sharing your inspiration and helping us carry the ancestral health message forth to those who need it most. So there's lots of people to thank who made this event possible. All of our speakers who put in months of preparation and hard work to give you these amazing presentations. Our program committee, Brad Dieter, Deborah Gordon, Jay Brett Smith, Elisa Maldonado, and Katya Orlova. All of our volunteers, we had almost 30 volunteers who were hard working this whole time. And including, particularly, Amanda Oakley, who was running all the volunteers here. She was. Now you've probably seen her busy the whole time telling people where we needed help. And she also did the hospitality chair, so she was taking care of all the dorm stuff. And then Karen Phelps was helping with the PR and the writing. I'd also like to thank the AHS board. You don't hear much from, about them, but they're doing a lot of the work behind the scenes. So our, the AHS board includes Jake Jacobson, Brent Pottinger, Brian Jeremia, Aaron Blaisdell, Paul Jaminet, Hamilton Staple, Gio Carmazzi, and Katherine Morrison. <laughs> I'd also like to thank everybody here at UC Berkeley. You've been wonderful. Thank you to Rob Bean from Cal Performances, who worked with us and made all of this happen and to ETS, our great AV folks. You have noticed what a great job they have done this time. 
And also thank you to the food service, conference services, and event services who were, you know, put together all of the dorms and the meals that we had. Oops. Okay. I have been sort of running around and taking pictures throughout the event, so I just wanted to quickly flip through a bunch of these, and we will post more of them online later, but this will just bring back some memories of the past few days. It's Catherine. <laughs> That's Daryl spinning the ancestral food wheel and jumping in the air at the same time. If anybody saw the pictures I posted from AHS 11, you might recognize this pose. If you did not see it, go back and look at those. And Mark Sisson could not make it here today, but he did make it into one of the presentations. <laughs> You'll enjoy this talk when we post a video of it. Does anybody know what this is? Do you recognize who that is? I have something to show you. They buzzword not just in the ancestral health community, but even among... Because they're the ones that are often talked about, they're the ones that are best understood, best researched. Um, first is called DNA methylation. And in D... Can you believe we have the videos already? <laughs> <laughs> that round of applause was for you, ETS. Thank you so much for getting us the videos and doing such a great job with them. Okay, so reflecting back, AHS has moved back and forth along the coasts. First at UCLA, and then moved to Harvard, then Atlanta, and this year in Berkeley. So, we were wondering where should we put AHS 15? Where's the next place? So, we went to Google, or someone came across this, so what does each state Google more than anything else? <laughs> and <laughs> I, I see people are noticing some of the other ones on that. It is pretty funny. You see twerking, Walmart jobs, rollerblading. Yes, so. <laughs> for those of you who, have, who haven't been to Boulder, you are in for a treat. Boulder is an amazing place. I will show you some pictures so that it will make you want to come even more. <laughs> It's beautiful. And we will we'll have side trips to some of these places. Boulder also has, I think it's probably the highest density of CrossFit gyms in the country. This is all, like, this is one mile radius. I'm not even joking. And one of those CrossFit gyms is CrossFit Sinidis. And um, Eric and Melissa Rosa are attending here. They own CrossFit Sanitas, and they are the ones that helped connect me with some people at UC or CU Boulder to make AHS 15 happen. So if you want to know more about 
bolder, you can go and talk to them. Another thing to get you excited. Boulder has a 100% paleo restaurant that just opened two months ago, and it is owned by my friend Eva Palakova, who has been around here. She's in the back over there. It is amazing. I can't believe she made this happen in less than a year. I met her the first time, and she said, I'm thinking about making a restaurant. I want to open a restaurant, and she didn't have any experience doing this. And here we are. Look how beautiful. So thank you. Thank you all for attending, and we'll see you in Boulder.